Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In this episode, we'll take a look at effects chains or effects templates. In the last episode, we looked at track templates, which allows you to quickly recall complicated track layouts. In this case, effects templates will allow you to reuse commonly used effects chains. Let's take a look. In this project, I have a track, and let's go ahead and add some effects. I'll add a compressor. And I'll just give it some arbitrary values for, for now. Also add an equalizer. And let's add some saturation. Now let's assume that we've got all these things set the way that we want. This can be any effects that you'd like to use. I've just thrown some on here at random just to demonstrate. But once I've got my effects configured the way that I'd like as a starting point, if you click on effects, you'll see the option for save effects chain. We'll give this a name, and save. Now that we've saved our effects template, we can recall it in this project for another track or a new project. If I create a new track, I can click on the effects button, and your normal dialog to add effects, you can close that out, and then click on effects in the track 2 menu, and you'll see add effects chain. We can choose the template that we created earlier, and open it, and it adds everything just as we configured it in the previous step. Let's look at a different method for adding the effects template to a track. Instead of left-clicking the effects button on the track, right-click and go to effects chains and select the desired template. And we have all of the same effects and their settings as we configured. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link in the description below. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl?